Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Foliage. So many of you had asked me questions related to the oxypetalum uh, plant. Uh, now basically this plant is uh, from the family of uh, Cactaceae, which means that this plant is basically a cactus. I know a lot of you will think uh, how come this is a cactus, but yes, uh, this is from the family of uh, the cactus and uh, these are the blooms. Now. Uh, we are already done with six blooms uh, in the start of the season so this is another four on this uh, I have one growing here and then there is one over here so total I have around six of them growing now you can see the plant is really really tall and this is my morning glory I'm not very sure I think it is uh, almost done because it had given me a lot of seeds a lot of these morning glories they don't survive for too long after putting out the seeds but uh, it's still uh, giving me a lot of more flowers i've just kept it as it is and uh, coming back to the uh, oxypetalum you can see this is how this plant tends to grow it uh, basically will have one leaf and over that one leaf it will start to put out more leaves you can see this now if you have to propagate this particular plant you can take this section of this plant and then put it into the soil once you put it into the soil it will start to put out roots just like how we tend to do a leaf propagation in this you don't need a stem this is a very woody stem as you can see because this uh, particular uh, mother plant is very very old it's almost uh, probably more than uh, four to five years old so it was basically thrown out for people to uh, come and take it off so that they can trash it off but I picked it up and got it home because uh, I didn't want it to let it go because it's a very old plant it's almost four to five years and if it is a plant that is four to five years old it is going to put out a lot of blooms a lot of people ask me why is my plant not blooming now remember guys it takes at least a year or two for it to bloom if you get to grow this plant it takes a very long time the plant has to be completely mature only then it will start to put out flowers for example if i'm going to take this leaf and if i'm going to put it into the soil it is going to take probably another two years three years for it to grow because this is a very small one though they tend to grow a little fast but the process is very slow apart from that during winters the plant tends to slow down its growth so that is another hurdle that you will have in 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 your garden so it's going to take a very long time so if you are taking a cutting or if you uh, you know if you have seen this plant out somebody has thrown it pick it up especially if the plant is very old uh, you can see the branch is very very old with the branch itself i can tell you that this plant is very old so it has grown quite a bit it has already started to cork as well you can see corking is basically when the plant uh, starts to mature it gets a very woody stem it's nothing related with dryness though it looks like it is dry but this is the method called as corking this is the new stem you can see it's more green but as in when it starts to age it is going to turn brown in color again it is putting a lot of new growth over there and uh, this is how the leaf tends to look like you can see a lot of so these leaves that you're seeing suspended in the sides that can be propagated you can even cut this part of the stem also and put it into the soil and even this leaves can be propagated so this is from the family of uh, cactus uh, I think the blooms will take another two or three days for them to open up uh, which I'm really excited about you can see they look absolutely uh, beautiful a lot of blooms so this time uh, I would say it gave me around uh, first time they gave six this time it is six so almost 12 13 blooms uh, in the start of the season itself now again probably it will bloom again uh, the third time and then it is going to stop blooming it will bloom directly in the next monsoon season you can see it's already starting to rain over there so i think in a couple of minutes the rains will start to come here so you can see it's an absolutely beautiful plant again guys another important thing a lot of people call this as brahma kamal but this is not brahma kamal this is oxypetalum uh, epiphyllum brahma kamal is a different plant it's a completely different uh, plant which is only found in uttarakhand dehradun and it has now become the state uh, flower uh, because uh, the Brahma Kamal is now on the verge of extinction it is under the endangered species because uh, of people pulling out the flowers taking out the plants uh, and uh, they are very slow growing plants that's why Brahma Kamal is now on the verge of extinction I hope 
we are able to conserve it. The government is definitely putting in all the efforts to save the plant. So hopefully it works out really well. Uh, Brahma Kamal is an absolutely beautiful uh, flowering plant that is found on the hills of uh, or on the uh, hilltops of uh, Uttarakhand and that is their natural environment where they tend to grow. I don't think they will be able to sustain in another environment because they would require that kind of uh, altitude, that kind of environment, uh, that kind of uh, you know growing conditions i don't think that is going to grow in any other place because i haven't seen them growing anywhere else apart from uh, the hill stations or the uh, hills of uttarakhand so guys uh, that's all about it it's a pretty simple to grow plant uh, now the best thing is that this plant does not require sunlight in order for it to bloom because it is also called as the queen of the night this flowers will start to open post 7 pm and by 11 p.m. they will be completely open so if you are a person who wants to grow plants and you do not get a lot of light you only receive indirect bright light then you can grow this plant in indirect bright light the plant will do quite well as I said Sun is not needed before 6 a.m. in the morning the flowers will start to close so they basically tend to open up late in the night so they do not need uh, sunlight but uh, they would of course need a good amount of indirect bright light in order for the leaves to uh, create food. Uh, the main purpose why we need that indirect bright light is because of the leaves, not for the flowers. The flowers will open late in the night and they have a very divine fragrance in the flowers. At times I forget that the plant has bloomed but with the fragrance I realize that uh, the flower has bloomed. So the flowers fragrance is really really amazing. So all the thing what I have used is I have used a very large container. There was an old paint container that I have used and I have used a mix of coco peat. Uh, probably there is around 10 to 20 percent of coco peat. Rest is garden soil, sand because the plant needs well draining soil. This plant can go underwater for quite some time because as I said, it is a kind of a cacti. So uh, it does not require frequent watering. Whenever you see around 50 to 60 percent of the soil is dry, you can go ahead and water it. A lot of times I forget to water it, even though it is kept out in the rain. Uh, the rain basically, uh, rainwater does not usually fall. You can see it has been raining a lot. But if I'm going to show you this, you can see the soil is completely bone dry because the rainwater usually does not fall over here. So I have to manually go ahead and water, which is also working out really well because as I said, uh, this plant does not require a lot of water. So that's all about it guys. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.